I will always be with you, bro. Aren't you ready yet? You gotta be late. Late? Late for what? Classes? Come on. Hi, my name is Terry J. Crew, and the docudrama alone is based on a disorder called monophobia. I feel we all face this at least once in our lives. This case study is about a boy named David Matthews and his twin brother James Matthews. James always looked after David and reassured him he'll always be with him. Guys, guys. Monophobia is often seen as part of an agoraphobic cluster which is defined as an anxiety disorder which is characterized by anxiety towards certain situations and the person may find it extremely fearful and threatening. Good morning guys. Today we are going to study about the identifiers. What are the types of identifiers? One is the primary identifier and the other one is the negative identifier. The primary identifier deals with the uppercase letters. David, come here. Immerse yourself in studies. Pass your subject. James? James? David? Hey David! What's up bro? Where were you? What happened? You got scared? Who's he talking to? Come on, let's go. Is he okay? Well, well. Look who finally decides to show up and beat us. Such a freak. He's no freak. Thanks, James. What did you say? Who are you talking to? To James. James! Do you still think your brother is here? Yeah, he's here. Right next to me. Hey, it's Jonathan. Hey guys, what's up? Look, he still thinks his brother is here. What? He's here. What are you saying? But where? Can't you see him? He's here. I don't see him. Tell them, James. Say something. They can't see me. Why? Why can't they see you? Because he's dead, David. He's dead. And you know no. why? 
David. Stop it, David. Maybe you should go after him. Some of the traumatic childhood experiences are so traumatic to the child that it's repressed, meaning it's taken away from the conscious mind and goes into the unconscious. And later, during adulthood, that's projected on or displaced to another object or maybe just a small portion of what had occurred. David saw a psychiatrist and was diagnosed with monophobia. This disorder can strike anyone anytime. The loss of a loved one or a friend leads to changes in behavior, perception, hallucination, and distorted things which causes the person to lose a sense of reality. Nevertheless, it's highly curable. If you think a friend or a family member experiences the same, support them in the tough time. Although the people suffering from this problem have a very traumatic experience, it's a treatable one. David, wake up bro, wake up. Leave me alone. I killed him. I killed my brother. I should have called him at that time. No, we did not. Our bike fell on the slippery road and we fell off. I should have paid more attention. I should have made him want a helmet. It's my fault, really. Everyone hates me. No, nobody hates you. Everyone loves you. Don't isolate yourself like this. Come, let's go. I will always be with you, bro. Come, let's go.